Hi, welcome to Unlock Layout and Design YouTube channel. Today we will be discussing about register dividers. We will be solving simple problems on register dividers. Okay, let's try and solve this simple register divider network. Let's call this register R1 and this one R2. So please pause this video and try to solve this for V out. Now assuming that you pause this video and try to solve this uh, for V out, let's try and discuss what is actually V out. When I ask this question, a simple question to new college graduates, so generally they give a wrong answer because they see the circuit from V out and they say that this is actually a parallel circuit. Well, it's not like that. So the same current will flow through this and that current is I. So now if I know that the same current is flowing, then these two resistors are in series. So what is the effective resistance now? So R total will be equal to R1 plus R2. So now what is the current? If I know the voltage and if I know the resistance, I can find out what is the current. So I is equal to V divided by total resistance that is R1 plus R2 and V is nothing but V in here. V in divided by R1 plus R2. So now how do I compute V out? If I know this resist current that is flowing in this resistor and I am measuring with respect to ground. So the I into R2 is V out. So V out is equal to I into R2. This I is nothing but given by this equation. So it is V in divided by R1 plus R2 into R2. This is V out. So I can compute this V out also as V in minus this drop. So that is nothing but V in minus I into it is uh, so it is V in minus I is still the same thing V in divided by R1 plus R2 into R1. This is V out. So V out is equal to I will take V in common into 1 minus R1 divided by R1 plus R2 which is equal to V in into R1 plus R2 minus R1 divided by R1 plus R2 R1 will go and again we will get V in into R2 divided by R plus R2 which is exactly the same equation. Okay, now let's try and solve this uh, resistor and divider network which is very similar to the previous one except that this R1 R2 is the same but I also have R3. So please uh, pause this video and try and sort solve for V out and then you come back. Okay, now what is the difference R3 is there? So now whenever a current I flows from the source here, it has got two paths. One is this path and one is this path. So in this path, how much current will flow? So actually the current that flows in this path is zero because it has got no return path. So that's why the current that flows here is not uh, anything but zero. But then the entire current I will actually flow here and it becomes like the previous problem only. So then what is this intermittent voltage Vx I will call. So this Vx is nothing but V in into R2 divided by R1 plus 
R2. So whenever I have a network like this, so V out is always given by this equation, register divider equation. You must always memorize this equation. Okay. So now, then what is V out then? So V out is nothing but Vx minus current I into whatever current that flows into I R3 into R3. In this case, my I R3 is 0. That's why Vx minus 0 is my V out. So in this case, V out is nothing but Vx which is equal to V in into R2 divided by R1 plus R2 itself. Now let's try and solve this different type of register network. It is the same thing. I have R1 and R2, but in addition, I have this current source. So how do I solve this? Think over, pause the video and then try it out for yourself. And then you can continue the video. Okay. So whenever I have a current source, what is the current in the circuit? It is always I, which is flowing in this circuit okay so now i can arrive at v out how do i arrive at v out if i know the voltage drop of these two guys like i into r2 which i know and what is the voltage across this so we don't know we can't measure the voltage drop across a current source so then because it can be anything still the current can be i so we will not go with this approach what we do is we know this voltage V in this voltage V in minus I into R1 is V out. So it's very simple now to solve for V out. It's nothing but V in minus I into R1. What is I? I is given by this whatever value of the current source. It can be 1 milliamp, 2 milliamp, whatever, and it is R1. So this is the equation for. V out. Now we have a similar uh, voltage divider network R1 and R2. We are trying to solve for V out. So what is V out in this case? Think over and then you can continue watching the video. Okay. This is something I can write down this network like this. This is my VDD. R2 and this is my V out. So it's very difficult to find out what is V out because always I feel that V out is nothing but VDD minus I into R1. But what is the I that is flowing here? It is not simply this I, okay? This I and also the I into R out. That will be the total I. So this is I R, say. So then it will be sum of I plus I R2, okay? Or I can say that I R is equal to I, the current source value plus I that is flowing in R2. So it's very difficult to find out uh, which one is like IR2. So it will be a chicken and egg problem. If I know this, if I, I can solve, but for that I need again the basic value of current. So the general procedure is when I have like two sources, I have two sources in this network, I must use superposition theorem. So let's start doing that. So first I will uh, draw the uh, circuit diagram with only VDD, which is a voltage source. Whenever I have a voltage source and I have current source, the current source should be open circuited and voltage source I have to retain it as it is. So I will keep 
VDD and I have this R2 and R1 and this is my Vout1. I should call it as Vout1. I will uh, later use only the current source and I will not use the voltage source. Then I will call it as Vout2 and Vout will be com sum of those two voltages. So what is Vout1 now? So Vout1 we know the equation Vout1 is equal to Vdt into R2 divided by R1 plus R2. That is my Vout1. Okay. So now I will drop off VDD and I will use only the current source. I and what should I do for the voltage source? I have to short it. This is R1 and R2. So I will rewrite the same uh, thing. This one is connected between this V out. Now I will call it V out 2. V out 2 and R1 is connected between V out 2 and ground that will come in parallel with R2. So now these two if I take parallel combination it is nothing but R1 R2 divided by R1 plus R2. So it is R1 R2 divided by R1 plus R2 and this is V out 2. Now what is V out 2? It's nothing but the current that is flowing in this and into R. So it is nothing but the current I, the loop current is still I. So I into R2 R1 R1 R2 divided by R1 plus R2. But this current is actually going opposite way so i have taken the current direction like this but actually current is flowing in the opposite direction that's why i'll have to put a negative sign so v out 2 is equal to minus i into r1 r2 divided by r1 plus r2 so what is final v out now to add these two v out is equal to VDD into R2 divided by R1 plus R2 minus I into R1 R2 divided by R1 plus R2. Whenever you have more than one source, you should use superposition theorem. Okay, now let's look into a slightly complicated resistor network which is having these resistors like I will name them R1, R2, R3, R4 and R5. So this is R1, R2, R3, R4 and R5. call this Vx and this is now my V out. So if I see these two, these two are in parallel. So what is the equivalent resistance of this one? It is R2 into this summation R3 plus R4 plus R5. So whenever two resistors are in parallel like this R1 and R2, what is the parallel resistance? R1, R2 divided by R1 plus R2. Here my this resistance is R3 plus R4 plus R5 and R1 is nothing but R2. So what is the equivalent resistance? R2 into summation of R2 R3 plus R4 plus R5 divided by R2 plus R3 plus R4 plus R5. So this is the equivalent resistance of this entire thing. So if I redraw the circuit, then it will be like 
R1 and this one, I'll call it as Rx. Rx. So I know how to calculate Px. So that's nothing but V in into Rx divided by R1 plus Rx. Just like how we solved earlier. Always remember this equation. The equation is V in into R2 divided by R1 plus R2 is your V out. Always remember this. This is a equation that we need to remember. So now if I know Vx, this is Vx. So if I know Vx, Vx divided by these resistors will be equal to the current that is flowing here. I know Vx, this is Vx. Vx divided by R3 plus R4 plus R5 is the current that is flowing here. So now if I want V out, I know Vx, I can subtract I into R3. So that's nothing but V out is equal to Vx minus I into R3. So Vx we know which is equal given by this equation here and I we know it's the same equation and then like we know how to uh, uh, like subtract this IR draw that is my V out. So we simplified Vx minus Vx divided by R3 plus R4 plus R5 into R3. That is my V out. So try and solve this. It's a very interesting problem. We simplified a big resistor network into a smaller one by looking into like what is series and what is in parallel and then we arrived at the final equation. I hope you like the video so please hit the like button share and subscribe thanks for watching